Okay, so now we're going to try making a room look three-dimensional on a flat piece of paper. And there are lots of ways to do this. The easiest way is to draw a rectangle in the middle of your page. And the more you practice this, the better you will get at figuring out where you want your rectangle to be. That rectangle is going to be the back wall of your room. Then you take the corner and you draw it off to the edge of your page. This corner off the edge of your page. This corner up and to the left. This corner up and to the right. So now you have a ceiling, two walls on the side, one wall in the back, and your floor. And if you want to put objects or other things in your room, you will have to erase things if you get them overlapping these diagonals. Um, or this line here, for example, I will do a cylinder here. I'm going to put the cylinder here. It's going to be resting on the ground. So make sure your stuff is on, starts here, unless you want it to be floating around in the air. I'm going to turn this to help me get my curve. And then I have my cylinder here. I do not see this anymore because the cylinder is in front. So I can erase that line. Curve, curve, and curve. And then the back edge of the cylinder. This is the top. Okay. So I have this large object in the middle of my room. I could do a cone shape over here. Start with that triangle. It would be flat at the bottom if I wanted it to be two dimensional. And then I'm gonna curve the bottom and curve a few more lines on there. Again, I have to erase this guy because I don't see that edge anymore if the shape or the form is in front of it. Shapes are two dimensional. Once they become three dimensional, we call them forms. All right, so I've got those two things there. And maybe I'll add a sphere here, which starts as a circle. And I'm going to add some curved lines here. I drew a circle here at the top because I thought, hey, this ball or this sphere is closer to me since it's at the bottom of the page, closer than these are. And so I can maybe see the top of it. So maybe this is the top of the ball and I can add those curved lines. Now maybe I have a lamp over here or a little light of some kind. Let's see. I'll have a little light. I can draw a couple more cone shapes here. Maybe there's little light bulbs inside. And so those are lighting up my room, which means I have light coming this direction. So if I wanted to create a shadow, I would do it on this side. And a little bit here too. So if you want to play around with that, get creative. And I look forward to seeing all of your drawings. If you want to add color, go ahead and add some color. If you want to try some fun things like windows or doors, you can do those too. So play around with it and see what you can do once you've got your three-dimensional shapes in your room, add your creative details. Have fun.